Hello, my name is George C. Bradley, and today's presentation will be on creating fictitious data using SPSS. Here's our agenda. We have six items, define variables, generate data, edit data, save data, analyze fictitious data, and document and disclose. Uh, introduction and creating fictitious data. We want to create it to test and learn more about SPSS. That's the statistical package for social sciences. And we want to mimic the characteristics of real world data. So basically here, we want to make sure that what we're doing is ethical and we're responsible with it. And we want to commun com communicate that this is not real data that is fictitious data let's take a look at our variables we want to define our variables we want to create variables that represents characteristics that you in your characteristics that you want to develop fictitious a data set from and right now we have four type we have four variables that we're going to use we're going to use we're going to develop age, gender, income, and test scores, not particularly in that order, but you'll see us get all four of these variables in a SPSS data sheet. Generate data. This will be our blueprint on that you can take a look at um, anytime you need to have a script on how to generate data, fictitious data from SPSS. Let's move to our SPSS data sheet. Okay, we're here at our SPSS statistical data editor, and you can see we have a data file here called fitdata.sav. That's our data sheet, and you can see we already have one column here that's id you would normally develop this column and the way i got this column here is from one of my excel files i had a population cases of about 40 and so i already had that pre-developed and i'm going to start developing the other variables let's start here to go to transform and we'll go to compute variable and um, right here, we're going to reset here. And we're going to start with age. Start with age. And we're going to go to our function group. And we're going to go to random numbers. And right here, we're going to go down right here to spe functions and special variables. And we're going to hit uniform. That'll go into our expression box there. And you can see down here that this has a minimum and a maximum. So let's get rid of the question mark. And what's our minimum age? Let's say 18. And let's take a look at a maximum age here. And we'll use 65. And we'll hit OK. And as you can see here, I have another one that I need to let's take a look at that we have age here and if we would go to our variable view you can see you have decimals let's go to variable view and let's go to decimals and let's eliminate the decimals get that to zero and go back to data view and the decimals are gone transform compute let's go to income develop income okay what would be our low the minimum income let's say ten thousand and what would be our max let's say 200 let's say 200,000 let's hit okay Okay, we can go back to variable view, 
decimal, eliminate the decimals, and go back to data view. And right here we have income. Let's go back here to transform. Let's put in here test score. And I'll eliminate this here and I'll move down to normal. Okay. Put that here and then you can see with normal you have right here the means and the standard deviation for test scores. So you're using this variable test score, you're going to have to have some type of familiarity with what type of test you're using. I'm going to say 7 is the mean, and I'm going to say 15 is the standard deviation, and I'll go there. And I will eliminate the actual okay as you can see we have one more variable we're going to go here we're going to our last variable is gender and that's categorical, so we're going to get out of normal, and we're going to go back to uniform. And our minimum would be zero, and our maximum would be one. Okay, we have continuous here, so we got a little work to do. Let's go back here and let's take a look at recode into same variable. We'll go there. We'll go to gender. We have range. Let's clear this. Um, Okay, I'm going to do that one over again right here. That went a little quick. I'm going to try that one again. I'm going to go back to transform. Come here, you see how we got it there. And right here, you see it's continuous. I'll go there again and I'll go to recode in the same variable and um, put agenda right here. That's moving a little too fast. I'm going to try that one more time. If not, we'll try something else. Okay, let's look at it. We have a range here. We got zero, and then we have 0.5, and that will be zero here. And I would add, and I'd go here. I would go 0.50001, so I don't miss any of the ones in the middle there, and I would put one here, put one right there, and then I would add, and then I would go here, and okay, that, that looks a little better there, and then I would go to the dialog, I would go back to variable view, and I would change this to nominal, I'd get this at the zero, I'd also do something to add some values to it. I would put zero here. And since this is gender, that would be fee. 
snail. And I'd add another one, and that'll be one. And that would be male. And as you can see here, I can click here, and that would show it can move from letters to numbers. And as you can see, I have all three. I have all of my variables. And I eliminated the decimals, although you can see them up here when I highlight it right there. It won't show up in the calculations. Okay, because you have your dummy data here. Right now, let me run a quick analysis. Let me run a quick t-test. I think that's about the simplest one to do. I'll go here, independent t-test. I'll put the outcome variable here. I'll put the independent variable here. This right here will be changed to zero, and this right here will be changed to one. And I will. And here you go. Here you have your females, you have your males, and you have an independent t test. So you can see the analysis. The analysis there. You can run a frequency, you can run a correlation, you can run a multiple regression. You have several options here on what you could run as far as the analysis with this data set. Age, income, test score, gender. Okay, we generated our data here. This is your script. When you look at this video, you can always, if you don't like following me on SPSS, you can look at this script and do it on your own. You can see here we did some editing. We did the editing with the actual eliminating the decimals in our data set and you can remove outliers if you have that information but that is an option we saved the data the data was already saved i'd have to save it again it was in fit um fit data dot sav and it's saved there and we'd save it again and we did a, a simple independent t-test for our analysis we could have done a correlation we could have ran a frequency but that data is for us to practice using spss and being able to be proficient in that area using fictitious data as you can see here the most important thing is to be transparent and to let everyone know that you're using um, fictitious data and you're trying to simulate real world scenarios. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please give me a call at this number or email me at the email that you see below. Thank you.